Hey everyone, welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And last time we just got off Tatooine. We finished up a bunch of uh, side missions. And this time... Uh, what are we going to do this time? This time I think we're going to go over to Yavin. To the Yavin space station and see if he has any new inventory. And then after that we'll talk to some teammates and then we'll go to our next destination. Continue on the journey to the star map. And uh... By the way, I got a new microphone, so if I sound a little bit different, you know, that's why. This is my first time uh, recording with this, so I did some test recordings. But, uh, yeah, it actually sounded a hell of a lot better than my old microphone. I'm not sure if I'm watching this. Oh, something new. Kalonord is dead, Lord Malak. He has failed in his mission. Forgive me. The penalty for failure is death, Admiral Carath. But the failure was Kalos, not yours. You may rise. Shall I hire another bounty hunter, Lord Malak? No mere bounty hunter can stand against a Jedi. I shall not make the same mistake again. My apprentice, Darth Bandon, shall take care of our young Jedi friend. Well, at least he learns from his mistakes. He's he's kind of smart. This Malak fellow. Oh my god. Now was that totally necessary? I guess he's a Sith, so you know, no self-restraint teachings or whatever there. Find Bastila and bring her to me alive, if possible. As you command, Master. Yeah, we've already been to Yavin. So, oh boy, we have a, uh, a Sith apprentice after us now. We're stepping on up in the world. We went from bounty hunters, and now we got the apprentice of Darth Malak. Oh boy, can't wait. And we don't need anyone. Wait, what do you mean? Okay, there we go. And hopefully, um, our friend, the Rodian, I forget his name, will actually have, like, different inventory for us. Like, since we actually completed a planet. Like, I know we completed a, a Kashyyyk, but... Oh god. Yeah, I'm thinking I for sure probably brought some guys with me now. Um. Hmm. Yeah, what's going on here, Suvam? Suvam? The exchange is gone. Is it really? Yeah, I think you guys better leave. Or I'll ask you again, very politely. Maybe. Oh, well, at least they're civilized. Oh, 
Well, I'll just have to come back in force as well. No, with the force. Haha. No, I'm sorry. Anyways, I have stuff to buy. Yeah, let's see what you have to sell. Was this here before? Environmental Bastion Armor. Ooh, immunity to a bunch of stuff. And it's upgradable. Wow. Oh, wait, no. It's, it's extremely expensive. Never mind. Was this here last time? I forget. Hey everyone, I'm back, and, um, oh, hi Giska. Um, yeah, this, that's, uh, where my hard drive, my external hard drive, started having problems. And, like, most of the footage is actually intact, but, but I still need to do some repair footage, because there were some files in between that were corrupted. And, uh, yeah, our Rodian friend didn't have anything of interest. He had some new stuff, but nothing I... Either everything was either too expensive or nothing of particular interest to me as a gunslinger. So, um, in the missing footage, I went back into the ship and I started talking to HK-47. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Hey, HK. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Hey, dude. Hmm. What did I ask him? I don't remember. I'd like to know more about your functionality. Statement. I know some elements of my functionality, Master, but not all. Why? Yeah, I thought you said that removing your restraining bolt would restore your memory. Qualification. I suspected that it might, Master, but without memory, I had no way of knowing whether or not I knew that was true. So you lied to me. Qualification. Uh, not so much, Master. I spoke out of ignorance. I assume the Athorian was responsible for my memory loss. That does not mean I am not a fully loyal droid willing to serve its master. But right, master? You were still telling me things as if you knew them, but you didn't. You were bluffing. You, so, I guess in a roundabout way, you could say... No, from a, from a certain point of view, you could say that he was not lying, but I'm going to say that you were lying, bastard. All right, so how can you know, not know parts of your functionality? Answer. There have been numerous repairs and tampering made to my system, Master. Several systems are not operating as they should be. The fact that my memory is incomplete may be due to meatbag incompetence, or something else I am unaware of. All right, I'm back again. Like, my, my external hard drive keeps on giving me a pop-up, and keeps on downsizing my game and stops my recording. Hopefully I, I fix that now. Anyways. Yeah, is there any way to repair you? Answer. Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired, Master. But anything in relation to my memory core is extremely sensitive. I have safeguards installed to protect that core that I cannot deactivate. It is not impossible that other, lesser memory functions could be restored, however. So I can restore your memory? Answer. You may attempt to restore portions of my deleted memory, Master, but some skill at repair is required. The deeper functions of my core memory, however, would still be unadvisable to tamper with. Conjecture. It is possible that some external stimulus might result in the memory core being reactivated, but I am unaware of any program existence to do so. That'd be kind of odd. Hmm. So you're saying your memory might just come back? Conjecture. There may be hidden programming that awaits certain conditions to reactivate my memory core, Master. But there is no way to know. It is quite possible that tampering has simply erased my core permanently. If that is so, a meat bag will surely pay. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Okay, so how do I go about restoring part of your memory? The one with, that requires repair skill? Answer. Simply tell me that you wish to make the attempt, Master, and I will attempt to walk you through it. Please do be careful. 
Okay. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to try restoring part of your memory. Affirmative. If you believe your skills are up to the task, Master, then I can certainly guide you through the process. Request. I only ask that you be oh so very careful, Master. I am too valuable and well-crafted to perish at the hands of ineptitude. Are you implying I'm inept? Negatory. Uh, no, Master. You are not a droid, however, and therefore your skills are limited by the physical capabilities of your meatbag extremities, or some such. So human error, basically. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, sure, let's, let's get started. Statement. As you wish, Master. The first stage is the simple one, and that is accessing my central control cluster. This may take a while. First, you will need to open three panels. Now close the last panel. Hmm. I am afraid the operation did not succeed, Master. Though it was a valiant attempt for a meat bag. Supplication. Perhaps it would be best if you desisted your efforts for the moment, meat I mean, Master. This seems to be going nowhere. You know, you're a droid. That means that that little slip was intentional. Bastard. As you desire, Master. I cannot help but claim a small amount of relief. Signing off. Oh, I'm sure. Asshole. Do I have, like, any gloves that help? Like, do I have any equipment that can help with my repair skill? No, it's demolitions. Hmm. I should have probably gotten that, uh, Calrissian's tool belt on, uh, Dantooine. Actually... Actually, none of these goggles give... Repair skill. Never mind. I wonder if I can get, like, T3 to help repair them. Hmm. I'll have to try that sometime. Anyways, let's go talk to Jolie. Hey, Jolie. Got something on your mind, do you? Like, I'm not gonna be talking to all of the crewmates. You know, it's, it's just Jolie and HK47 I'm interested in. I'll talk to the others some other time. Alright, uh... Why did you decide to come with me, Jolie? You got yourself a fast little ship? <laughs> I forgot what engine sounded like. The closest thing to that on Kashyyyk is an uller in mating season. Oh, frightful. <laughs> oh, God. Well, you, you could have gotten a ride on any ship. Why me? Or it could be for the free food. What's the gunk that comes out of a synthesizer on this bucket, anyway? Do you never clean the darn thing? <laughs> If you don't want to answer the question, old man, just say so. How impatient can one person be? You must have driven your mother mad. All that gurgling and fussing. <laughs> Babies are cute, but annoying. <laughs> you know, you remind me of someone else I knew ages ago. Pleasant enough fellow, great destiny. All of that. Breath like a bantha. Is this a comment on my breath? No, but it could be. An Anduvian salt tablet would clear that <laughs> right up, you know. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, oh yes. man. Andor Vex was his name. The force swirled around him like a hurricane. That's how great his destiny was. Is that what you see around me, too? Well, it's not so much a hurricane as a slight breeze. But that doesn't mean anything. Destiny is sometimes in the eye of the beholder. Well, it turned out that poor Andor believed a wee bit too much in the infallibility of that destiny. That overconfidence turned out to be his downfall. Is there supposed to be some kind of hidden meaning in all this? Telling me to, to be a little bit more careful, perhaps? I don't know. Are you overconfident? I hadn't noticed. Even if I had, I would never comment on it. We're talking about Andor, remember? Let's see... Oh yes, Andor's downfall. I was pretty young myself when it happened. At the time, I thought that Andor's destiny couldn't be more boring. But you said the force swirled around him like a hurricane. Usually that's not so boring. 
So what makes me more interesting? Yeah, so why, why didn't you leave? Well, he had a much better food dispenser <laughs> than you do. That and the fact that even I wasn't an altogether impatient twit. I was just about to abandon Andor. <laughs> Damn it, Jolie. intended for him when his ship was overtaken by a Dimian warship. Now, you've probably never heard of the Dimians, but at the time, they were a nasty lot led by a nastier overlord named Krat. Tall fellow, big teeth. Krat has us hauled onto the bridge of his ship for questioning, and that's when I knew that Andor's destiny was at hand. How do you know? Like, something tell you through the Force, maybe? Swirling Force, remember? Jedi here. Granted, I was just a question. Signs, but we get trained in that sort of thing, more or less. Well, Andor decides that his destiny makes him invulnerable and starts making all sorts of demands. Free me now. I'm not answering questions. Blah, blah, blah. Don't you know who I am? Krat decides he's had enough and begins crushing Andor's neck. I told the boy he should have kept his mouth shut. I think he agreed too, or those could have just been gurgling noises. <laughs> well, anyway, finally, Krat has enough of Andor and tosses him aside into this giant energy intake shaft. Andor gets sucked in and starts bouncing around, <laughs> screaming. Oh my God. Maybe Andor hit something sensitive on the way down, or just didn't agree with the reactor core. Next thing I know, all the ship's alarms are ringing. So, you're kidding. Everyone panics and I run, barely making it to the ship in time before the explosion. Krat dies horribly, and the Dimians never quite recovered. Changed the political course of the entire sector for centuries to come. I'd call that quite a destiny, wouldn't you? That, that sure is a destiny. Get shoved, get tossed down a tube so uh, your ship explodes. Oh man. <laughs> what does that have to do with you coming with me? Do you want to see me get tossed down a tube and the ship explodes? Well, hey, the chances may not be great, but. But one has the opportunity to see something like that twice in a lifetime. God damn anyway, Julie. go on. My throat is dry and you're making me cranky. Shoot. Fine. Fine, Jolie. God. <laughs> I love you, Jolie, but you're sometimes you're an asshole. Actually a lot of times you're an asshole, but you're funny. You're a funny asshole, so. Anyways. I think I'm going to uh go to Manon next. I'll go Manon and then uh and then Corbon. So yeah, let's go Manon. Sounds like fun. We already saw this. And yeah, that's just the hyperspace thing. Oh boy, I'm dreaming again. Or Juan's dreaming. I'm not sleeping, I'm talking. This under the sea? How am I supposed to get under the sea? What's this, Camino? When did this game come out, anyways? Did it come out before or after Attack the Clones? If it didn't come out before, it probably came out soon after. You felt it, yes? Another vision? The Force continues to work through us, showing us the star maps unearthed by Revan and Malak. It is strange that anyone would have built a star map here. The entire surface of Manon is covered by nothing but vast oceans. Maybe it wasn't always like that. Tatooine, according to the Sand People, used to be a lush, lush planet. Yeah, maybe the land wasn't, was once above the surface. It is possible. The melting of polar caps or a cataclysmic earthquake could have buried the land beneath the waves eons ago. Records from that time are incomplete. The ocean floor is vast, and much of it is uncharted, even by the native Selkarth. 
But how could Revan and Malak have found their way down? No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Yeah, how, how are we going to do that exactly? I mean, it, it's an entire entire ocean planet. How are we going to find this one place on the entire planet where where the star map is? Though I guess you could, could say the same thing about Tatooine, like we just happened to land close to it. I don't know. Same thing for Kashyyyk, too. Maybe it's the force that's guiding us. Who am I who do I wanna bring? I wanna bring Jolie because he has uh his one friend here. No, add. And who else? Should I bother bother bring Juhani? You know, I'll bring Juhani too. Oh, whoops. I forgot to uh, add her to my party. My bad. Jolie Juhani. There we go. Yes. And we'll level up Jolie. Let's see. You're definitely going to get force armor because uh, you don't have the greatest defense. Destroy droid? Hmm. That might be useful. Maybe. Actually, I think I should, should start getting force resistance, because we, we do have, like, a, a Sith apprentice coming after us now. What? Makes logical sense. <laughs> 